Now, from Minnesota's most watched station, this is WCCO 4 News. Do you have something red on today? The idea is to raise awareness about women and heart disease. And today we're having a little fun as well with the Super Bowl in town. We will head into the WCCO kitchen to learn more about the Go Red for Women movement and what it means to our chef making the perfect red dish for the big game. Wear Red Day as part of the Go Red for Women movement. And since the Super Bowl is in town, we have chef and author Robin Asbell to make a healthy snack for the big game. Good morning, Robin. Hi. Well, I love that you're wearing your red. Head to toe red, mom too. In. Yes. <laughs> you have a uh, personal connection to heart disease. Is that correct? That's right. Well, I lost my father to heart disease. We watched that go on for a really long time, and it was terrible thing and we now know that you know 80 percent of heart disease is preventable by diet and I also had a congenital heart defect that I didn't find out about till 10 years ago so I've had heart surgery at wow. Evans. Yeah. and well, how are you doing today I am fabulous I was well the minute they were done actually so that's but. amazing especially to not find out about it until years <laughs> later and we know that for women this is such a big 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 deal and like you said diet so let's talk about what we're making this morning all right so I'm making a this is a chili bar where the base is this vegetable rich uh, vegetarian chili that okay. has whole grains in the form of frica and kidney beans oh, and protein and so but then you make the chili bar so I'm sauteing up a little bit of lean turkey for the people who want Healthy. some meat and then we have all these toppings where you can put avocado cilantro cheese we're doing Greek yogurt instead of sour cream things like that Great some chilies it really yes. tastes good and so what sort of veggies do so we have so this here? is just some sauteed onions carrots and red bell pepper and then we just dump in a little garlic okay. and saute that a little very very easy smells delicious and then after that you just dump in the rest of the spices what kind of spices are we talking so about so we've got some cumin okay and so a little salt and then that is smoked paprika yum and this is chili powder and then oregano okay and very then, flavorful yeah very flavorful and these stuff. are the grains here this is frica which is a really tasty grain so we we'll put like in quinoa. about yeah about the half of that ancient grains are so popular right now that's right and so very good, good for you, you. and mm, just yeah. all the fiber and all the nutrients and frica is really hot because it tastes kind of smoky Oh, cool. And it's quick cooking. When you put together recipes and you kind of have heart health in mind, what are some of the things that you're looking to either put in or keep out of the recipe? Right. Well, put in as much, basically, as many plants as you can get in there. Yeah. Right. So you put in lots of vegetables, lots of greens, lots of beans, and then not too much salt, you know, good heart healthy oils mm -hmm. like olive oil. And then just, you know, if you're going to have some meat, just use a leaner one and just not too much. Wonderful. Okay. Well, Robin, thanks so much for coming in. To learn more about the American Heart Association and the work that it does, they do so much for so many people across the country. And how you can help, visit WCCO.com slash links. You'll also find more about Robin and her guide to cooking and eating healthy, delicious food on our website as well. Thanks again for coming in. Well, thanks for having me. Lots of fun. Jason? Right. Everybody looks great in the red over there. Thanks, guys. We have a lot more still to come.